Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be just a little bit different than normal. I'm going to be coming at you guys, showing you all my newest addition to my crafting family, which is my Cricut machine. And for those of you out there are like, Shonda, what is a Cricut machine? Well, the Cricut machines are a range of home die cutting machines or die cutting plotters. You can use it for scrapbooking, you can make uh, decorations for your home, you can make designs for just about anything and I am like super ultra mega excited about doing this or showing you guys this machine. First off, when I first got the machine, well first off I've been wanting one of these since pretty much birth, okay? Um, <laughs> I've been wanting one of these machines for like ever and I'm so so happy that I finally got one and getting it it was extremely intimidating for me um, until I actually cracked it open and started playing around with it um, once you I mean it's 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 pretty much pretty much straightforward um, how it all works I mean you can either do uh, do the projects from your desktop or laptop or a tablet or you can set it up from your iPhone and that's or I'm sorry not just iPhone from your phone and that's how I'm gonna be doing it today I'm gonna be using uh, the Cricut app and how that works is um, you can pair your phone to your laptop or to the machine and then once you get everything set up the way that you want to you'll just send it to the machine and boom it's done so uh, we're gonna walk through this together this is my second project that I'm gonna be working on and I plan on making this a series on my channel because I like DIY DIY anything that's my thing um, so what I'm gonna focus on today I don't know if you guys remember way way back um, probably 20 14 either 2013 or 2014 um, once I was when I was doing my holiday glam videos which I do plan on bringing back this year <laughs> there was a set of decorations that I had handmade and to be quite honest it was a pain in the butt to hand make them because you had to make sure that all of the pieces were cut the exact same size well not the exact same size but the exact same uh, width so that they would look decent so that's what I'm actually going to be making today with this machine now the instructions on the app actually calls for glitter paper and I just realized that I don't have glitter paper I have glitter vinyl so I'm just going to use some other um, pearl type paper that I have to make these and they're going to be different colors hopefully light colors I haven't even went through and decided what colors I'm going to make them um, and the actual instructions that I'm going to be using says that it makes um, nine ornaments. I'm like super, super ultra mega excited about this. I just can't wait to start doing this. We're going to be moving next year, so I'll be able to make new decorations for our new place. I'm just excited. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is just show you guys the app, kind of try to navigate it through it on camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing.
it's never too late shadows will fade by night trust me just look my way this moment it's just you and i we're just the same haunted past different faces oh look into my eyes stay there if you gotten everything all cut out and so pretty much the only thing we have to do now is go through and assemble it I initially started with the green paper and I did that only because I hadn't done anything that required more than one mat use so I needed to see exactly how I needed to go through and complete each one so the machine automatically comes with one of these 12 by 12 uh, standard grip mats so that you can so that it can hold the paper so it can feed through the machine I would definitely recommend buying two um, I had the standard one that came with the machine and then I also had a tri pack which has the standard grip I believe it's probably a lighter grip and then like heavy duty grip and I could be totally wrong but I'll put it in the description box below so that you can go faster if you need to I mean one mat will work also and then what I was doing when I was uh, scraping off of the mat it automatically cuts the holes in the papers for you so I was just going through with this little spatula that came in a tool set a Cricut tool set that I got and then just kind of you know push them off the paper or off of the mat because the mat is sticky I wouldn't like scrape like really really hard because again it is an adhesive mat and you don't want to scrape the glue off of it just for those that were wondering what I was doing um, I'm gonna go ahead and peel the rest of these off I by this being my first official project I can understand that this should have all been one color but since I didn't have the actual paper that the directions called for it's gonna be a plethora of colors so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off assemble these so we can see how easy it is so I went through and sectioned them in their respective size sections here and I am going to be using this I believe it's 32 gauge wire yeah 32 gauge wire I got this from Joann's years ago probably um, and so pretty much I mean it's really self-explanatory all right so I'm gonna cut off a couple pieces of the wire just enough so that I can wrap it around or wrap it through the first set of holes now again like I said all of mine are gonna be different colors so the shortest one goes in the middle and then you want to sandwich that with two of the next size and then you're going to sandwich that with two of the longer size. Now when I first, when I made these before, I just stapled them. Um, this time we're going to actually follow the directions and tie them. And I don't know where I put my little metal, so I'll cut another piece. So we're just going to go ahead and feed this through. And I'm sorry this is so thin that you probably can't see it. I apologize so we're gonna take it through and we're gonna twist it so that we make the first loop and just because I took so much I'm gonna feed it back through again just to loop it around 
make sure that it's nice and taut and then that way I don't really have to cut too much of it off so then once you get to this part here you're going to match all the holes up with one another and then that's how you form the actual ornament the directions of this one calls for um, long pieces of string so that you can hang it from you know ceiling I think what I'm gonna do is probably hang these on the door or maybe I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I may actually just give them away to someone and I know this isn't really like a superb gift but only because my Christmas decorations I plan on keeping the same color as they were last year which was silver gold red silver gold it was like in the silvers the pewters the golds the copper well not copper but um you know all of those and with touches of gold and so this isn't really gonna go with the decor so i may just make some more and make them into uh christmas decorations to hang off of the tree or just like off of the window or somewhere in my apartment somewhere once you get it all twisted and everything on both ends it'll look like that which i think is pretty cool i wish i would have actually got the um glitter paper which i thought i had the glitter paper but as it turns out it was glitter vinyl this is pretty cute all right people so that is pretty much it um they turned out fantastic uh, i got the three different sizes here and all of the papers came out the exact same sizes that they were supposed to. I am absolutely adoring this Cricut machine. The great thing about it, oh, found my lost wire. Huh. The great thing about this Cricut machine is that this could have been made out of like tons of other different materials. Um, there's vinyl, they have chalkboard vinyl, you have iron-on um, transfers, you have um, you can do it out of leather you know not all leather guys you don't want to tear up the machine trying to force some thick heavy leather in there but definitely some uh, leather fabrics I cannot wait to see what else I can come up with I've already got the pot stewing for my daughter's 10th birthday party I just got to figure out what her theme is gonna be yes ladies and gentlemen if you guys no, or if you have a Cricut machine and you have some projects in mind, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear about what you've made or what you've seen that you would like to make. And if you aren't familiar with the Cricut machine, welcome to the Cricut family along with me. Um, they have tons of references. You can go on their Instagram, you can go on their Pinterest boards, you can go on their Facebook boards. They have a website. This app, this app is absolutely amazing for people that like me that don't really want to hook your computer up to it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. If not, I will direct you to the person that can. All right, let me know what you think. Talk to you guys later. It's just you and I, we're just the same.